herbalists, and we're currently training as people, people's community medics. Um, I don't know if you've heard about people's community medics. It was started by um, Sharina Diamond Tom Thomas and Leslie Phillips. And uh, they were on the Oscar Grant Committee in 2011. And um, it was there that they found out that it took uh, 20 minutes for the police to call the MTs. Um, that Oscar was there bleeding out for that long. We've learned in our training that there's a golden hour after someone is shot, that there's 60 minutes. You've got to get someone care within 60 minutes. And so, thankfully, to Sharina and Leslie, who couldn't be here, but they asked us to come here to speak on behalf of the People's Community Medics, um, we've been learning. We've been learning how to take these kind of situations into our own hands, not so we don't have to wait for the the police or the EMTs or anybody else to come if we're, we happen to be in a situation where there's a stabbing or a, a gunshot or a seizure or anything like that. So, um, is there anything you want to say, Jane? Okay. Um, so yeah, we're here to represent them and to share with you that this is something that we're inviting everybody to come get trained in. We just attended another training this last Sunday. It's time. We've got to take it into our own hands. So, um, so um, we're going to read this letter from Sharina and Leslie. Dear family and friends, the People's Community Medics sends its, sends its heartfelt sympathy and condolences to the family of Regine Jeffries, the teenage daughter of our community who lost her life yesterday to inter-community violence. We are heart sickened at this latest murder and a long chain of cold blood killings in Oakland. Everyone wants to know, when will it stop? How much more can we stand? As community medics, we always wonder who among the survivors at these tragic, all too often violent and deadly events is trained as a community first responder. The People's Community Medics offers to train everyone to be first responders for our community. We are here for the family, the survivors, the witnesses, and the community. We are here because we are motivated by love. Even though we did not know our little sister, Regine Jeffries, when we say her name, we are calling on the ancestors to protect and guide her spirit for all eternity in peace and love. Thank you, the People's Community Medics. Thank you. Thank you.